So we have this uh, this little uh, cube here. Um, so how we can animate now? Let's go to a little bit more advanced uh, stuff. How we can animate this? In order to animate this, and of course we need to be in animation mode. Okay. Um, uh, don't forget that we set this to kinematic, so we can animate this. Okay, uh, so we click on animation mode, and we find our cube, and we either uh, right click and create animation, okay, or we just click this little button here and we create an animation. Uh, we can rename this animation anything we like, something like uh, moving uh, platform, okay. Uh, moving platform and you will see now that this uh, familiar timeline now appears so how to animate this cube now uh, to animate this cube we we should first import it into our uh, animation and to import it we can click this little button that says add object okay or we can right click the box and add to timeline uh, most of the time i use it like this um, so here is the box now let's animate it uh, to animate it, uh, we click uh, the plus uh, sign here and we see all these available uh, properties that we can animate, uh, not something that we cannot animate, okay? Uh, only th those that we can animate. So in properties, we can animate the position, the rotation, the scale. Uh, we can animate the material or uh, the opacity or the color. For example, let's animate the color just for the example. Now it's white. Uh, we can click here and make it, uh, for example, uh, red. And if we play the, click the play button, you see now the cube is uh, animated the color. Uh, we don't need this for now. Uh, let's go back and we can also animate the physics. Uh, so we can have a kinematic object and convert it into a dynamic through the animation. Or change the, the mass and the friction of the bounciness or we can even enable or disable this uh, cube. Okay, uh, for now let's uh, animate the position X. So when we import this position X in our timeline, uh, we will see a keyframe is uh, placed uh, here. Uh, if we click this, uh, uh, this keyframe, we will see a value called origin. Now many people uh, is, are getting confused with this origin and they think that origin means uh, the initial position of the cube. Uh, this is not true. Origin means the current position of the true. So uh, you should be very careful with this. And if you make this clear, um, it will be easier. So origin means the current position of, of the cube, where the cube is located at this moment of the time. So if we want to move this cube uh, 10 units, so somehow somewhere here, um let's uh, let's uh, click for uh, click on uh, four seconds for example and a, a new keyframe is uh, created and now we can type origin uh, plus 10 okay origin plus 10 and what this means is that we force the cube to move uh, from its current position to a current position plus 10 units and if we click uh, play now, you will see that our cube is moving 10 units from its current position, uh, not the initial, don't be confused. So as we are now, the current position of the cube is, the, is here, not here. Okay, this is the current position. So if I click uh, play again, the cube moves another 10 from its current position from here. And if I click play again, you will see uh, the cube is keep moving from its current position. Uh, and if I go out of this animation, for example, click somewhere here and here, uh, you will see that the cube in uh, reality is always here because uh, this animation is not playing right now. Um, so let's move the, the cube, let's make the cube move uh, between two points. So let's click uh, somewhere here and create a new frame, a new, a new keyframe. Um, so, and we will type here something like origin uh, minus 10. So, we, because we want the cube to go back. Okay, and before I play, I click on play. Uh, let me explain what you are going to see. So, the cube now, this is the current position of the cube. 
uh, if we click play and the, the cursor comes here, the cube will be here. So that will be the current position of the cube. And then we set to animation to go uh, 10 units back from the current position. So from here, it should be go back. And we can enable this uh, loop uh, sign. So this means that this animation will play in loop. When it goes to the end, we will start from the beginning again. And if we play now, we will see that the cube is, it goes here and it returns back. Now this is the current position and goes 10 again and so on. Okay, um, so now how can we uh, trigger this animation? How we, we can make uh, this animation uh, start? So in order to start this animation, uh, we go to trigger start, okay? And we click this uh, thunder. Uh, and this thunder, we can see all the available uh, triggers, all the available options that we can start this animation from. Uh, if I click on launch scene, this means that this animation will start on the beginning of the game. And if I click, uh, for example, this thunder again, and add a different uh, trigger, for example, this uh, key down, and now the game asks us to to add which key we want to include here. So let's say Alt, for example. And now that uh, you see this little OR here. This means that uh, this animation to start, it can start either in the beginning of the game or uh, if we hit the Alt key. Um, so one of, of these two should be true to start this animation. If But if I click on the OR, now we change it and we made it end, which means that both of these should be true to start the animation. So both these and these should be true. And if I right click here and add not, this means that this animation will start playing as soon as this is true and this is false. So this should be true and not, this should not be true. This is what not means. Uh, let me delete this for now. And uh, other uh, triggers uh, include uh, a collision event between two items or an animation start or end, a different animation or a state machine. Uh, we will see this a little bit uh, later and you will understand. Um, or a comparison event uh, between uh, when comparing two values uh, or a different trigger or a game flow or an object. This is really important. Uh, when an object is uh, on or an object is off, or even a network uh, event. Okay, uh, just a brief uh, uh, presentation of these uh, triggers. And if we play the game now, we will see that our cube is moving. And since it's kinematic, we can jump on the uh, on the cube, and we have just created a small uh, moving platform. Uh, take this platform for example. Uh, Let's move it around here and um, let's move it out of the group for now. Um, something like this. Okay, and let's have the same coordinates like uh, the box. Uh, four, uh, what is it? Three. Just, it doesn't matter. The numbers doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, and let's take this box and move it out of the way. And let's say we want to animate this platform now. Uh, this is a very easy tip to to, to fast prototyping. Um, so like before, since this is a moving platform and we want our character to be able to step on it, this needs uh, physical properties. So let's go to physics tab and let's enable physics. And now it's static. Static means it's static. We cannot animate it. So let's go to kinematic. <coughs> and uh, if we go to animation mode again, and we find that uh, animation that we have just created, the moving platform. You see here it says box, but we don't want to animate the box, we want to animate the platform. So a very cool trick is to right click, retarget, and let's, uh, we just find the, the model that we want to retarget it to. In our case, the platform. Okay, platform. And let's save and we are done. Okay, let, we can delete the box. And if we play now, we have a moving platform uh, that is uh, a more proper one instead of the box. Okay, and it has, it has exactly the same behavior. Uh, 